Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back. We are getting into another top 10. Now, 2020 has been, uh, well, it's been a pretty crazy year. So as we come closer and closer to the end or the escape of 2020, as we finally get into 2021, I decided to look back on some different things from this year. And today we're specifically looking at the top 10 most expensive sneakers that have released this year. Now to make it onto my top 10 list, there's a few qualifying factors. First of all, there has to be at least 10 sales of the pair of shoes on StockX. It also has to have been a pair of shoes that released this year and not a retro or something that was released a long time ago and then brought back. So without further ado, let's jump straight into number 10. Right, so number 10 on my list, and this one comes at no surprise. This is the Off-White Sale Jordan 4. This released back in July, and it was only available in women's size runs, so the kind of trend that you can see in terms of the sale of this shoe is that the highest sizes are going for the most amount of money, obviously because a lot of guys want to get their hands on this shoe as well. Now, around this time, there was some rumors that there was going to be a men's size run of this pair of shoes, but again, we haven't seen anything yet. We may see that at the end of the year I mean you've got a month left to release men's sizing but of course we may see it in 2021 but as of right now the woman's size run is the only one available so the retail price of this shoe is $200 and the average resale price is anywhere from $700 to $1,300 so the highest price sale that went down on StockX was $35 hundred dollars a massive markup and again it's not that surprising because it is a pretty damn clean colorway in fact i really wanted this pair of shoes now whoever paid 3500 must be looking at the sales now going for about 1300 and just like damn i could have saved myself a whole lot of money if i just waited Number nine on the list, and this actually happens to be one of my favorite shoes to release this whole year, even though I never had it in hand because of course it was ridiculously limited. It is the Civilis Nike Dunk Low, and I'm specifically talking about the special box edition. So the real special thing about this shoe is that when you look at it or when it's in, I think just regular room temperature, it looks like almost like a gray or black pair of SB Dunk. However, when any heat is applied, like if you stick your hand on it or you pour like a hot drips of water or I've even seen some people put it in the microwave but it changes color into like this rainbow effect so obviously like that heat signature kind of treatment to the upper now, I've seen loads of videos on people doing different methods to you know change the color on it and this is just so creative it's so cool it's so interesting love little gimmicky things on shoes like glows and reflectives and just strange little things that make the shoe a little bit more special but this is by far the craziest thing that I've seen on a pair of shoes. Now, the Civilis and Nike Dunk Low actually released back in August of 2020 and it retailed for the irregular $110. And if you manage to get yourself a pair at that price point, the markup on these is insane. With average resale prices going for anywhere between $1,100 and $1,500, I mean, for your $110, bucks, you are looking at a pretty hefty payday. Now, the highest sell price that went down on StockX was $2,000. $2,291. Just imagine if you're the person who paid that amount and you're looking at StockX and you're now a metric on their app as the highest paid. There's a hint of flex that comes with that, but at the same time, you've lost out on a lot of money because the price always goes down and kind of levels out. Still an incredibly expensive pair of shoes and that of course is why it's number nine on the list. Getting into number eight on my list, and at least with this one, you're getting two pairs of shoes because this is the Jordan New Beginnings pack. So the two pairs of shoes that you're getting in this kind of pack that released back in February of 2020 is the Jordan 1 High and the Airship. Now it did retail at $350, but at least again, you're getting two different pairs. Some of the sales on this is ridiculous. The average resale price was $1,600 to $2,000. And the highest sales price that took place on StockX was $3,224. So this one is kind of a little bit 
different because you get two pairs and it is kind of like a collector's edition. It released on or around All-Star Weekend. It was very, very limited and I kind of understand this one. It's like a little piece of history, but at the same time, that is a lot of damn money. Seven on my list and this one comes at absolutely no surprise. This is the Nike Dunk Low Travis Scott. What you're gonna notice with this list is for 2020, there is a whole shitload of dunks. Now these released all the way back in February of 2020 and they're just, they're going crazy. They're still super hyped and I believe these are going to be kind of like one of those shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like one of those shoes that people talk about for a long time to come. Now specifically, I am talking about the special box version. So again, the regular box was like the little rainbow SB box and the special box came in that same like paisley print. Now these retailed for $150 and now the average resale price is anywhere between $1,600 and $1,800. Now before you even take that gasp for that price tag, just think someone on StockX, the highest sales price spent $4,000 on a pair. All right, number six on my list, and this one I actually kind of forgot about. It went under my radar, and when I actually saw the prices on it, I was pretty damn shocked. But number six, we have the Nike Clot collaboration on the Rose Gold Air Force One, and this is, of course, the special box version. Now, this one is the Rose Gold one, and I think it was the last one that happened to release. And of course, this is the Rosewood special box. So it's actual wood, it's very well made, it looks amazing. So uh, you can kind of understand from a collector's standpoint, yeah, they're gonna fork out a lot of money for this one. But when I say a lot of money, it is a lot of damn money. This retailed for $250 and right now it is going for anywhere between 17 and 19. Hundred dollars, seventeen to nineteen hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. I mean, I, I pray that this is only collectors or people who just really freaking love this shoe because it is insane. Some of these prices, and again, the highest sales price that went down on StockX is five grand. Number five on my list, and this one again was pretty surprising because this only released, well, it released this month. This is the CPFM Nike Dunk Low, and this is kind of the Swarovski crystal one. However, it's kind of the spiral green colorway. Now, I thought the platinum silver one would definitely be worth a lot more than the green one. However, it seems like, I guess, the green one was a lot more limited because the prices on this one is insane. And of course, these retailed for a hefty $550. But, but let me tell you the resale price. Average resale Resale price is pretty volatile. It's at eight hundred to four thousand dollars. The highest sale going down on StockX was seven thousand two hundred dollars. Number four on my list, and this one is potentially like craziest sneaker of the year, or like kind of maybe even sneaker of the year. I don't really know, but it is the Nike SB Dunk Low, uh, and of course is the Ben and Jerry's one. It literally looks like a cow mixed with a pasture on its upper and it's got, it's got all kinds of crazy ice cream elements to it as well. In fact, the pair I'm talking about is a special box variant which came in kind of like a giant ice cream container. Get a shoe that is currently reselling for $1,400 to $1,900. He's only retailed for $100. And the highest sales price that went down on StockX was $6,500. All right, number three on my list, and uh, would you guys be surprised if I told you it's another Nike Dunk Low? So this one is the Nike SB Dunk Low Grateful Dead. Now there was three different colorways of this that released the yellow, the green, and this one which I'm talking about is the orange colorway. So all three were extremely limited, however this orange colorway was particularly more limited than the other two. These only retail for $110. However, the average resale price right now is $2,700 to $3,400. Highest sales price that went down on StockX was $6,567.
Number two on my list, and this one is a little bit strange because I don't actually remember the release of these. I always kind of thought that they just never released. However, apparently they did. However, number two on my list is the Nike SB Dunk High 420 Reverse Skunk. Now, this one is probably one of the most limited on the list, coming in at only 420 pairs ever made. Now, this was, of course, the special box version. I mean, I don't even remember a normal version releasing. However, of course, if you do, let me know down in the comment section. So 420, of course, being the reverse skunk, you guys can make that connection. And of course, was released on the 4th, which is April and on the 20th. Now, the retail on these was $140. And right now, the average resale price is anywhere between $3,000 and $5,000. And the highest sales price was eight grand. So again, another insane, insane amount of money. I, I Again, I just, I cannot imagine it. Now that is not even the craziest. We've still got number one to go. Number one on my list, and of course you already know what that is, it is the Jordan 1 Dior collaboration. Definitely the most insane collaboration from 2020, just because of the amount of hype behind it, because of the price, because of what they're reselling for, because of just everything. I think this is probably one of the most memorable shoes from 2020. Now it did release in two different variants, the high top and the low top, so I'm kind of gonna include both of them. Both of the two variants of the Jordan 1 Dior collaboration are now the most expensive shoes of 2020. Now there was only ever 8,500 pairs that released to the public. Start off with the low top version. Now this one retailed for two thousand dollars and the average resale price right now is anywhere between four and six thousand dollars the highest sales price on stockx is fourteen thousand three hundred and ninety eight dollars so uh without a doubt winning by a long shot is the dior collection now of course we i still got to tell you the numbers for the high top version and uh and this one retailed for two thousand two hundred dollars now right now the average resale price for this is anywhere between eight and ten thousand dollars and the highest sales price was fifteen thousand nine hundred and ninety five now whoever spent that kind of money on this pair of shoes must have a boatload of cash but either way that has been my top 10 thank you guys so much for coming through watching the video now i want you to let me know down in the comment section what is the most amount of money you would ever spend on a pair of shoes but either way i gotta get out of here thank you guys so much for coming through liking commenting and of course subscribing i'll catch you all in the next one but until then